Last time, you guys were in hot pursuit of the captain who stole the Sunstone from Fingrove Village. <laughs> you managed to track them to the Blood Cliffs, where you defeated the bandits, though the captain did escape, and you also defeated the Terror Bird, which was released from the cave. You are now moving out of this map onto the regular road. It goes through a very thick forest. We're going to go ahead and move over to that map next. Important to note, too, we uh, we did uh, stash the, the terror bird corpse for for cooking up later. That is correct. I did make a note of that in the cave and uh, a few other things. All right, here's our map. So ahead of you, you guys have traveled for about six hours. You've passed the cliffs. You're, uh, there are cliffs like along this, each side of the road, but they're at a considerable distance from you at the moment. Um, and then in front of you is a fallen tree. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. It looks like quite a mess. Um, you can do what you like. <clears throat> a chop it! Oh, it's already chopped. <laughs> you could climb over it. It's okay. nothing you, you know, it would be blocking a wagon, but it wouldn't block you. So you want to um, tree. You want to charge the tree? Yes, chop it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll to hit the tree. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? It's perfect. I got a wood cutting axe. So I gotta put my off hand down. I'm okay. gonna hold the uh, an axe. <laughs> this wood is perfect. cutting axe <laughs> with my two hand and chop it. Wait, even I use two hand the uh, damage dice that'll not that'll not different. Yeah, style one d six. It doesn't have versatile, yeah. which is why. You have versatile. It has versatile. Yeah. You say versatile. Well, I'd have to look at it. I guess I don't remember off the top of my head what stats it had. It does say versatile right there. Oh, it there. does. But it doesn't have the thing. Okay, hold on one second. So it should be one d eight. There you go. So you just add. Uh, you can roll Ooh, cool. that again, or the damage should be updated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you chop into the tree, and you take out a very large chunk. Um, you feel very proud of yourself. I mean, you're this massive <laughs> barbarian, and you know how to <laughs> chop a tree. You pass by a scra like a very gnarled-looking tree off to your right. Um, this tree? Yep. Oh. And then you just see like a bunch of bushes. You can kind of see they're like kind of transparent. It is very thick right here on this forested road. Yeah. I'm gonna How big was the piece he chopped off? Uh, I would say it's as large as his head. Oh he has a big that's head. That's a big piece. Yeah, he's got a big head. Now, if you're gonna chop off a piece of that tree, we better not let it go to waste. I'm gonna cut it up into firewood. It's a rig. Starts processing it to, into the smaller logs that you can burn later. Okay. So rigs up there with them. Yeah, you guys kind of... even uh, wasting the bounty of the forest, so I'm going to chop this up here. Let's have a competition, rig! <laughs> Let's now, see how you got! Now's not the time for competition. We should be looking around. This could be prime for an ambush or something. You fools just running in and hitting big logs with your wood axes. You need to work on your timing. Can I can I look around for like um any sign of tracks or I guess I'm assuming this road is like no longer super well traveled if there's just a tree down in the middle of it. So maybe there's maybe there's some tracks I can see or something. You can go ahead and do a perception check if you'd like. Five. You see tracks there moving uh, further to the north. The, in this map, the, the direction is a little off, so the north is actually at the south end of the map. The bush is at the bottom okay. end of the map. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> are, are, are we in a forest terrain right now? Yes, you are. All right, that's my favorite terrain, so I'm also going to look around. Okay. Um, I double my proficiency bonus, so that's actually a 19. Nice. Okay, when you look around, you notice that something, a couple things actually, 
You notice the tracks. There's several of them. Uh, probably upwards, maybe you're guessing like eight people, maybe ten. Um, and they're moving to so, the north. So one well, other piece, too, is when I'm tracking creatures in my favorite terrain, I can learn their exact number, their sizes, and how long ago they passed through the area. All right, these are all Outlander boots. One of them was particularly yep. large, and it seemed to be dragging something behind that particular footsteps. It's hard to tell what it is. It's quite large. Um, it just it's it's just a single rut in the road that's very that's continuous, um, as like he's just dragging it behind him. You also notice some other drag marks. Um, it it's a little bit more widespread. It looks like like someone was was being pulled behind them, perhaps. The other thing that you notice is something over on that uh, gnarled tree that's behind Mitra. There's something tucked into a knot in the bark. Oh, there's uh, something tucked into that knot in the bark over there. It looks like a captive <laughs> fellow was dragging something behind him. And Rig is definitely like on on all fours, like he's fully immersed in the moment, like crawling around. Okay. <laughs> so you want to go over there? It's right here. Yeah, so I, I uh, don't know how to read this, so if someone else could uh, take a look at it. Why, well, sure, I could read that for never you. Never read. My you, never taught me to read. It's, been, it's a very tiny little note. When you pull it out of the knot in the tree, you unfurl it, and you read, Help! Outlanders captured me, taken north along blood cliffs, Please hurry. Well, it looks it appears to me we must head north with haste. You could roll an intelligence saving throw, Rig, to remember anything else. All right. Not 20. Nice. Only one person comes to mind, and it's the person that you had an interaction with on the road on the way here. It was a traveler who was a bit of a bigot against dwarves, and you dismissed him. I think it might be the racist we met last time. Well, he's already dead. Mm. He, Not necessarily. You just found a note know that. that says, Help, Outlanders captured me. Taken north along blood cliffs. Please hurry. And I'll post Go this right in ahead. your chat so you can see it. It raised as no one gear. Okay. What was your last roll there? 21 intelligence save. Okay. <clears throat> yep, that's what you learn. You definitely remember that. I would say... That's probably all the information that there is for that one. Okay. What do you want to do next? Mitra is urging you guys to create a defensive position while we look around this tree. Um... I let's see. Uh, well, Rig, do you reckon uh, you could any of the footprints match the match the build of the captain that uh, had the sunstone? So would I have figured that out from my role, Matt? I would say so. Yeah, one of them does and, and, match and they the do. captain. Yep. If you look at this set of footprints right here. I think this one's about the same height and weight as the captain we saw last time. All right, well, let's follow these. No time to waste. As you cross this, over... I get back up onto my two feet. Okay. From all fours. So you're crossing over the tree trunk? Yeah. Yep. Right. Turns into a fire giant, kills you. Just kidding. So as you go further north along the road, the you, you do see... Um, Two people, well, a person and an animal emerge. I'm going to go ahead and show them now. There's a goblin. Like a... This is the character that you're looking at. He looks so cute. <laughs> it's a grandpa. Okay. And then you also see this character here. They look delicious. This is a <laughs> large beast. It and sure does. 
He's just kind of hobbling along, and this thing's... They're walking quite slowly together. Um, he's even... You can kind of hear him humming a little ditty. Oh, hello there, sir. Well, hello. How, how are you? I'm mighty fine. We're just uh, passing through here. Careful of the tree. I see that. Looks like we're going to have to go around, Shep. Looks over his shoulder at this large uh, crustacean that's following him. On his back, the crustacean's back, is this old rowboat that's been turned into a makeshift shell. That's so cool. Isn't yeah. Goblin a bad guy? Yeah. Are you asking me in character? Um, if he is, then... <laughs> If if he is, then uh, I would speak up because I I'm familiar with the goblins in this area. I speak goblin, and I've done yeah. some trades with some of them. I know they're not oh, all bad, but uh, some of them are bad. But you know, it's it's okay. It's not it's not because of their whole race that they're bad. It's just their customs sometimes dictate lots of raiding and killing. So East, are you East saying that out loud? What's that? So is East saying that out loud? Are you aren't goblins bad, or is that just a question for me? No, no, no. It's <laughs> a question from okay. the stupid newbie player. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he just he kind of just hobbles over. Well, I, I I guess I gotta go around. Come on, Chip. He kind of stops in his tracks. He, he looks over at you. You wouldn't, by chance, be interested in buying anything, would ya? What you got? Um, yeah, we'll take a look. All right. I didn't expect you to say yes. Uh, no offense or anything, you don't look like the money-keeping types. No, yeah, we, we don't have much, but, you know, we'll still take a look regardless. Okay, well... Uh, I got this fine pair of bone gauntlets here. Uh, real nice. I made them myself. Bones of a big bear that my people killed. You interested? Uh, sure, let me check out. Yeah, it looks like Gruzlak's interested. Okay. Yeah, he shows you these bone gauntlets. They're clearly made out of bear. They still have, like, tufts of hair on them, flesh. They didn't clean them very well. But they look hardy enough, and they do... Yeah, they look like they would punch a pack. Pack a punch. I just said that backwards. Excuse me. Uh, these gloves, just as, like, a mechanic, uh, they have finesse glove, which means you can wear them and hold a weapon in your hand still. And then they also have light. Wait, but I already have the. I already have armor bracers. Okay. Hey, if you don't want them, that's totally stuff? fine. He's selling them for six gold pieces, or sorry, five gold pieces. I see it. Watch the. What's the? What's the like? Uh, it's. It's one. Dice. It deals uh one d four piercing damage because of the sharp knobs at the ends of the the knuckles. Yeah, it's trash. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, I mean, I don't think they're trash, but, you know, I actually spent quite a long time on these. Oh, gosh. Some people are so rude, Shep. And he looks, well, how about a bear claw? You interested in a bear claw? Mm. Is a bear claw the same? Uh, yeah, I mean, but this slashes more than it pierces. Oh, you guys yeah, are tough. Gosh. All right, all right. I'll show you my best thing, all right? And he goes and he shuffles through his bag and he pulls out this egg. It's as big as... Egg? Yeah, it's an egg. It's as big as Gruzlock's head. Actually, bigger than that. Oh. You're interested? Kamaji perks right up when he sees anything food-related. <laughs> and he, Wow, well, what, what kind of egg is that there? This isn't any kind of egg. Nothing that you'd want to scramble into an omelet, you understand? This egg right here is a griffin egg. 
very precious and very dangerous if you don't know how to handle it right. Well, why, why wouldn't you want to scramble it into an omelet? It sounds like it may be mighty good. Well, if you can find the right buyer, a beast tamer in particular, well, huh, they'll pay a fortune for one. I reckon I could probably sell it to the right buyer for a thousand gold pieces. No joke, mind you. No joke. Oh, well, I think that might be a little too rich for our blood, then. Well, darn. I was hoping to sell it. I would have made a pretty penny off of it. Well, you know what? If I haven't sold it by the time you return to wherever you're going, that is, if you are going somewhere and will plan on returning, then why don't you come find me over in Gob Town? And if I still got the egg and you got the money, maybe we can make a deal. What you say? Mm. What if what if the egg starts hatching by then? Well, there's a couple methods I could use to maybe prevent it from hatching too soon. No guarantee, though. And you're firm on your price of a thousand gold pieces? Well, I might be willing to do some bartering with you, but it would be pretty close to a thousand. I couldn't fall below nine hundred. Seems, uh, awfully heavy and very fragile. Uh, what oh, it is. If you, you, could, you could drop that on your journey. Wouldn't it be better to just make a, make a quick cash right now? Before, let, oh, no, no. Not chance it? No, Shep right here is the most stable crustacean on this side of the blood cliffs. Trust me. Yes, he is a mighty fine specimen. Hmm. Well, I'll well, give you ten. I'll give you ten gold pieces for. Oh no, no, no! I don't think so. But I do appreciate you taking a look at my wares. Well, I hope you have a good journey wherever you're going, and uh. You know, I don't often see dwarves this far south. Well, that's, uh, that's true. I'm one of the only of my kind in this area. Huh. I don't often see, uh, problems walking giant crabs around. Well, take care, you know. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it very much, but everybody else around here does. You know how the Outlanders are with all the other human settlements. They don't get along. Luckily for me, well, my people got to deal with them outlanders. Uh, you with the outlanders, do you? Oh, yeah. Our chieftain has secured a very nice negotiation with them. Non-aggression pact. I'm not sure we should do business with this fella. Hey, I didn't say I was their ally. I'm just a merchant. I just was... Make a note warning you that I did see some outlanders on the road, so be wary. I have been warned. They are the ones should be wary. Okay, as he's rounding this part of the tree, you can go ahead and roll a perception check as you watch him take his leave. Yeah. Perception. Yeah, yeah he rounds. I double my perception to 13. 13 okay he he rounds the corner shep is following him close closely behind and they leave who knows maybe we will we bump into them again i want that griffin egg <laughs> you want to eat it <clears throat> does it taste good it looks good all right <clears throat> so we are going to continue um, do you guys have anything else you want to do while we're here? Hmm. I want to find some boar. Some boar? You want to go hunting? I just, no, I just uh, keep watching around to see if there are any boar. Okay. You can roll a perception check, or perception check first. <laughs> you don't find any boar tracks. All right. But we could try again yeah. on another map. What land for us? <laughs> Don't really have time to be hunting right now, anyway. Uh, I'm just looking. I mean, we already got that giant bird. Yes, I can't wait to be cooking that thing up. 
This is a very large map. Oh my god, can't grab the freaking tool. Oh wow. It is giant. I would suggest not watching my stream too, because it does show some stuff, just so you know. Show what? No, just don't watch the stream. <laughs> I gotta watch it. <laughs> Please don't watch the stream. But the players get to see okay. it. So it's kinda of fun. Or I mean not the players, the uh the viewers get to see it. Okay. It's like reverse psychology. <laughs> They're the god. Wow, this is a really big map. Holy crap. Yeah, what the hell? It's so yep. huge. I think that's about what you can see. Okay. And here you are. Uh, most of this is be theater of mind here. But as you reach this very wide plain... You do see the end of the cliff and then what appears to be the sea out off to your right. You guys are looking to the east. Southeast, maybe. Um, actually, be northeast. And you see these, like, carved steps up here. And then it rises to another platform, which you technically would be able to see some of this as well. And then it's like a point here on the cliff. You can go ahead and roll perception check on what you can see in front of you first. Oof. I would say... 26. 26. Rig, you notice some very large prints um, over, over here in this direction. I had to zoom way out to see what... Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Here, I'll do this for you. Ring. If you'd like, you can roll a nature check. You can just move yourself there. So you guys kind of walk across sure. this field to this point. And we're still in the... Yeah. We're still yeah, in the forest, right? Uh, you're just exiting the forest this? now. All right. So once we're out, I don't get that anymore. So I can do a nature check. Ooh, a five. You're not sure what they are. Uh, they have... Uh, looks like... Three toes. And then a heel toe. Second so round of them. As soon as we're out of the forest, I don't know a footprint from a, from a hoofprint. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Back in the forest, I immediately would not understand it. But as you get to that point right there, um, something does happen. Let me grab it. Uh, let's see. You see somebody walk over here to the steps. Right about here. Who are you? He's dragging this huge caber behind him. That's not anybody we recognize, right? Nobody you recognize. Just a really burly outlander. Who are you? Doesn't matter just... who I am, what matters is who you are, and who I think you are. And who do you... we are. <laughs> I think, I think that you're those fellas that have been following my Outlander captain, and I don't like it. He told me to wait here for you and dispose of you off the cliff. Oh, I would like to see you try, sir. Well, come up Make here think. and let's try it then. And he moves back a bit with his caber. He's going to dash 60 feet. You guys can move movement if you'd like each. I already moved. Can we dash? You can dash. <clears throat> dash. All right, by the time you get over there, you can kind of see most of this ocean. And you can roll a perception check on the water if you'd like. Can we see the water? Once you get up onto the thing, yes. 
You can go to move again. All right, as you're walking up the steps, you can roll another perception check. Ooh, you do nice see first on day today. <laughs> you go to move again, but as you're rising up the steps in the distance, you do see the back of a dragon turtle emerge from the waves. Um, it doesn't appear to be of any consequence to you. It's just there in the world passing by. And as you move your gaze from the dragon turtle to the outlander, you see him positioned near the cliff over here on the right-hand side. And you see that there is splatters of blood that have stained the cliff rocks right here on the edge um, and pieces of body parts. There's even like an executioner's block that's been set up there. Um, but there's no bodies currently. Not on the top here. I reckon this is a trap. I mean, he did tell us he was planning on killing us. Yeah, so why are we why are we going so close to him? Let's just shoot him. I just managed it. I move again. You can you can move again. He moves. He does move, and he positions himself right here on the other side of a barricade. That's like a rock, a rocky little outcrop. So far. So far. He has full cover here. Man, I got a scout dash. Yeah. All right. After this movement, you, if you're intending to battle, you'll have to roll initiative. Okay. Initiative. Lame. Where is the turtle? It is way out there. You gotta scroll out like a lot to see it. Oh. Oh yeah. That looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like Rig is going first. This guy has full cover. Alright. Rig is just gonna ready in action. He's gonna fire as soon as he stands up. Or as soon as he comes out from cover. So he's like got a short bow ready. Okay. Got it. Outland is about as dumb as a bag of rocks, so this is just a waiting game. Sooner or later, he's gonna get bored and stand up. <laughs> okay. And then it goes to Kamaji. I'm gonna... Run over here. And that's my turn. All right. Gruzlock. So why he got full cover? He hiding behind a rock? There's a little rocky barricade here that he is using for full cover. And it looks like it's hollow on the other side. So he's tucked himself hmm. behind it. What the hell? So I cannot throw anything to him. Not unless you move here to this point right beside him. Right here, along the cliff face. Man. You'd be able to see him right there. I'm gonna come to here. Wait. Okay. And, uh, I want to check out if there's any ambush here. Uh, like, in front of you? Like, why he hiding here? Is there anything suspicious near? You can roll perception if you'd like. I mean, there's there's definitely something suspicious. There's a whole Man. altar that's covered with blood and body parts <laughs> everywhere. You don't it's see anything in front of you. It's I'm definitely a trap. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All right. After Gruzlock, it is Mitra's turn. She is going to move... Yeah, she's going to dash. Whoops. It's about here. So 60 feet. Okay. And then it's the Outlander's turn. 
The Outlander is going to poke his head out. He's going to make a short bow attack. So when he does that, it uh, rigs attack uh, that he was holding is going to happen. Okay. He still has half cover. All right. So so how does that work mechanically? Uh, it um... is plus two bonus to his AC and dexterity saving throws. All right. 12 to hit. That misses. All right. Well, poop. Happy little Outlander. <laughs> All right, so he's going to pull his short bow out. He's going to shoot that in Kamaji's direction, but up above him. A 14 hits. It hits something up here above on the rocks, and a bunch of loose rubble and rock fall down, just oh, wow. missing Kamaji. Uh, he was five feet away. So I will show you the token. It would be here. This angle is 10, and the height was... Whoops. Can't use that key. So all of this is rubble. Falls down. Should be able to see that. Okay. Next, he is going to make the second attack. And he's going to shoot his short bow at Kamaji directly. It is a plus one to hit, by the way. All right, I think that misses. <clears throat> Okay, then he tucks himself back into the rock, drops his short bow, and grabs his caber. And it is now Riggs' turn. I learned a scum hiding in a hole, grabbing a stick. I'm going to move a little bit closer, but basically do the same thing I did last time and just like ready my action for um, when he pops his head back out. Okay, cool. Kamaji's turn. Is he, he's back in his hole, totally? He's back in his hidey hole. With this rubble down here now, <clears throat> how scalable is this cliff? It's 100 feet down. It is scalable, but it would require two athletics checks to get down. No, I mean up, to get up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong cliff. Uh, this one is 50 feet tall. And it's climbable, but you'll have to roll in athletics. This one's actually easier yeah. than the coastal side one. Would I be able to... Has this hidey hole fashioned in a way that I could see him from above at all? Or is it it's totally hollowed out? No, he, he's all hidden. Completely hidden. Okay. I'm going to move, like... here i guess and do the same thing ready my action with the short bow okay all right and then it goes to gruzlock okay gruzlock gonna come here and i want to pull him out so grapple yes grapple Get your ass off here, scholar! Uh, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, he's a tough guy. <laughs> he's a tough guy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess that's my action, right? No, oh, you can roll. You might get a nat 20. Or did you, oh, you already rolled it. I'm sorry. I already rolled. I missed uh, that. It was one below yours. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. 3 to 24. Fun. That's crazy. <laughs> Aww. Man, lame. You know what? <laughs> so that's my action. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my hand axe and chop him with my off hand. Okay. Sneaky color! Stop! Nice. Ah, Ouch. Ah. 
Okay. And this. Oh, wait, you know what? So. Wait, is it? Wait. So, like, critical? Oh, no, no, not me. Yeah, 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 critical. Oh. Okay. Oh, my. Dang it. That <laughs> sucks. Extra damage. Oh. That sucks. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> All right, you hit him for well. eight damage, but he's doing fine. He laughs at you. Ho, ho, ho. You just wait till what it feels like with for me to hit you with my caber. He's got his caber ready to swing at you. All right, that was Grozlock's turn. That's my turn. Demetrius going to come over here. She's going to dash. Ah. 40 feet. And then it's going to go to... The Outlander, at this point, after the rocks have settled on the ground, you see, or hear, rather, two Outlanders pop out from the top of the rocks. Mm. Two of them are here. Okay. And the other two are over here. I have to add them. Okay, they're going to take their turns. Um, let's see. These were readied actions, so this would be... There's no way they can shoot us. It's so far. This guy's first. This guy, uh, let's see, number, e number three is going to go. Shortbow is 320 feet. He's going to shoot Mitra. For 12, which is... Going to he hit. should have disadvantage. Oh, you're, you're right, you're right. It's a short bow. Okay, misses. And then it's going to go to <clears throat> number four. Number four is going to attack Kamaji. It's within range. That's going to miss. Goes to number five to attack Kamaji. That is going to oh, no. hit. Oh, man. Seven uh, years. doing it again. <laughs> that's that's him down. He's doing it again. Okay. Oh fuck! <laughs> that's exactly what it, you needed to down me. Oh, Dang it! No. Five. Number six goes to. Oops. Gruzlock. Try, bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh. And I have like cover. No. Wait, why do you say number six? I didn't see. Oh, I was just looking at the initiative. Oh, numbers. okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Does the rig still have the reaction to shoot? I do, yes. Once, if number eight sticks his head up before my turn, I'll shoot him. Okay, I gotta grapple him again. Okay. Get your ass off! Yeah! Oh, 21. 21. 11. Nah, nice. <laughs> you have grappled him, and you can now pull him out of his little hidey hole. Yeah, you're going to pull him out. Pull him out. Where? Like, uh... uh you want to move him, like, here? I want to move him, like, uh, you know, be, like, like here. Here. Can I? Right here? Yeah. So okay. Mitra can hit him and Rig can shoot him. So you're just holding him up for me to shoot. Let's see if I can do it this time. 15 yeah. to hit. <laughs> 15 to if hit. I, if I holding him while, while he got an advantage to hit? Uh, no, grappling doesn't provide that. Restrained does, though. All right. But 15 misses. What? Yeah. He's a tough guy. It's a tough guy. All right, you know what? Wait, but when I if I grapple him, do I still have a free hand? Can I still? Yeah. Yep, you can do okay. that. Okay. I'm gonna use my off hand, chop him. All right, let's see it. I choke his neck and chop his head. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that hits. Die, piece of shit. Die. Hey, that's really good. Okay. 
you definitely made him a little concerned this time. As you see the worry kind of flash across his face, he begins to sweat. He was surprised by that attack. Anything else from Gruzlock? Uh, no. That's turn. Mitra's turn. I run out of rage. Okay. Get his ass, Mitra! Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. Oops. Just realized she doesn't have that. Okay, she's going to pull out her club. And she's going to try and hit him. Uh, she will have moved here, though, to do advantage. That's going to hit. She does seven bludgeoning. All right. That was Mitra's turn. It then goes to the Outlander's turn. He's very upset by this. He is going to move 30 feet. It's just out of range. And he's grappled. He's going to swing at Gruzlock with the caber. Oh. I wish. He swings, you duck. He's too slow with it. It misses, and uh, he gets one more attack. He does have multi-attack. And the 12 is also going to miss. Nice. I use my oh, that... horn, my hellman horn to block it. That one was actually against Mitra. Sorry about that. But it still misses. Oh. Has to be two different targets. Okay. And then it goes to the last Outlander. They're at a considerable distance, so they'll roll with disadvantage. A nat one. <laughs> <laughs> they Thanks. see their buddy get clobbered and they foolishly run out of their half cover that's the now one it is Rick's turn he's going to go forward just a little bit so I'm in range and I'm going to shoot the foolish one I mean they're all foolish but I'm going to shoot this foolish one with my, with my short bow okay <laughs> But I still miss. A 12, 12 hits the regular Outlanders. Oh, oh, okay. So the so the regular ones are, are much worse. All right. Yes. Nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Well Nine. done. He's still up, but he looks really crippled. <clears throat> Anything else? Didn't come out from your hiding hole there. Just stayed, stayed covered. <laughs> you stupid dwarf! Kamaji's turn. All right. Oh. oh no. Outlander number three. He is going to roll his short bow with disadvantage. That misses. He is going to run out to see it because he sees his buddy get wounded. All right, number four is going to roll against Rig. A 16. That. And when it ties, is that who does that go to? Roller. How yeah, far away are you? I am 66 feet, so I'm at thin range. Yeah. Six piercing damage. All right. Number five is going to shoot at Mitra. That's within 80 feet. It's going to miss. Gruzlock. Okay, so I'm grappling him now, right? You're grappling him. So I grapple him with one hand, so I can use my man hand to hit him. But after I use my man hand to hit him, can I <laughs> switch my another hand to grapple him and use my off hand to hit him again? I think when you're can grappling, you have to use your offhand attack. Or am I remembering that wrong? Oh, uh, no! It's just it just. You can only have one weapon in your hand, so it's... Right. So you just choose... Only... <clears throat> you choose yeah. which to attack, right? Yeah, you choose so which weapon you have. So the last turn, I had to choose... I, I guess it's never... It, it's actually, like, uh, not different, because even my offhand, I still 
of the, the same damage. So I guess it's, uh, mm. it's fine. Okay. Right. Yeah, you, you could do one or the other. You just can't do both. Yeah. So you know what? Screw the grapple. He already out. I, I let mean, you him could, go. You could just toss him off the cliff. It's right there. Hmm. But we want to ask him something. Right? Uh, mm. Do we? Ask him while he's <laughs> flying. <laughs> Okay. There's there's other guys okay. around here. You know what? Let's intimidation him. Want to intimidate Say, him? Okay. Uh, no, I I I gonna I gonna yell, roll very loud, and say, "Surrender or I throw this dubious ass off the cliff." Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you push him over here. He's hanging off the edge. A yeah. fourteen. So this is gonna. I swear I would do it. <laughs> so you're trying to intimidate the, the other guys, right? Everyone, like surrender. Okay, so let's have them roll a charisma check. The other outlanders, stop in their tracks. Let's see if number eight passes. And he's <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> oh right, oh right, we surrender. And he drops his caber. The caber tumbles down the cliff face. Nice. Ooh, nice, nice. Now what? I throw it. <laughs> you throw him? <laughs> oh my god, you no, no, turn no. it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna go with that. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you should throw him. Go, go for it. Toss him off the edge. Yeah. I... Hurry, go check out Kamaji. So they surrender, and then you turn around and... So everyone surrender? They Ooh. all surrendered. Nice. Okay. Are you going to toss him off? Or kick him off? It's like a this no, is I gotta just, moment. I, I got to <laughs> use my arm to ch to just uh, hold him in my arm. Okay. Put my axe on his neck and say, Don't do anything stupid! Oh, get your ass here! Okay. Command all the all the outlander. Okay. Rick, go check out Kamaji. Is he alright? Alright, so I'll have Fuck you guys. Up. These guys lay down their weapons and they come around. These guys easy. These guys are gonna try and climb down. It's one athletic stick each. One of them trips and falls. <laughs> he is gonna roll. Oh no. I think I said 50 feet. Yeah, you did. 21. One of them trips and falls and dies. And you just hear him. Ah! Boom! Hits the ground and hits the back of his head on one of the really large boulders that. Uh, Not tripped. my fault. What a dumbass. That's a typical alien there for you. Oh my god. They're all depressed oh, about man. it now. Oh no! What do you want literally, to know? What do you literally want to know? Literally, the only one to die. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gonna roll a medicine check on Kamaji? Yeah. 14. All right. He's stabilized. I will. I will let Mitra handle this guy. I can nah. come to help Kamaji too. All right, as you guys are helping Kamaji, she walks over to the Outlander veteran. Now you listen here. I want to know all the information there is to know about your captain. And he's like, all right, I'll tell you everything. And he proceeds to tell her that there are two more captains up ahead along the road at a base that's been, that they've been camping at. It's set in a ruins. And it's said that this ruins, it's well known around this area, that it's an old um, dwarven ruin. Uh, it sits atop a cliff, much like this, very high up. And uh, they've been camping out there and kind of uh, moving to do these various missions from that point, is what he says. Uh, but now that they've been kind of been chased, uh, many of their men have been killed, and they're going to have to probably retreat to regroup at one of the other main Outlander camps. Uh, the two captains are like lower rank captains in the Outlander faction. 
They serve um, some higher ranking officials within that group, uh, but they're not with them. So they're kind of, they're not, they're not super powerful people. They're just powerful over the people that they command. Um, he also tells you that uh, they he confesses. And he seems to get kind of teary eyed, but that they had killed a traveler, um, and he confesses that he didn't agree with the decision to do it because the person was just trying to pass back to Elmwood. But these captains had the order from their higher ups to kill any travelers along this road who didn't pay them um, a, a substantial fee for passing. And this traveler didn't have the money to do it. And you know that this traveler is the one that you denied earlier. When you look over the edge of the cliff, you do see his body at the very bottom. You can just barely see it. It's 100 feet down. Oh, no. Okay. There's a bunch of bodies down here. This is just the only fresh corpse. Uh, the other ones are already, like, decomposing. Bunch that of skeletons. Was the, that was the racist guy? Yep. He met his demise. Um, yep. You can roll a, a oh, well. perception check when you look down there to kind of get a feel about what's going on. I'm still technically knocked out, I think. I'm just stabilized, right? Yes. Okay. Rig, when you were kind of... When you're looking down there at the rocks, you can see that um, birds have been uh, plucking the flesh off the bones of the, the corpses. Um, and from what you can gather, there are these, like, I guess, large, like... Uh, like points on these piles of bodies that have been the bones have been crushed like something's been stepping on them that was large you could just barely make that out it also looks like some of the bones have like scattered maybe in certain parts probably not from the waves because this rocket sits a lot higher than those waves so something big is really been eating Simple birds been gnawing on those uh, corpses down there. Maybe it's one of those uh, dra dragon turtles. See one way out in the distance over there. Are you talking asleep there, Kamaji? When you say that, the the oh, veteran, yeah, shit. The, ve <laughs> <laughs> the veteran looks over and he says, "Those aren't dragon turtles. Those are griffins that have been eating those bones." Griffin. Yeah. There's large griffins in these parts. They make their nests high up on the cliffs. My friend here would uh, be quite upset with me if he didn't, uh, if I didn't ask. He's uh, incapacitated at the moment, but uh, what do you know about the eggs and how, how they are for eating? <laughs> well, if you're stupid enough to try and steal one, you can fetch one for. I don't know, 900, 1200 gold. Be like stupid enough to fall off a cliff and die? Well, oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying? <laughs> well, we don't have any more time for this. We need to pack up our things and move along. She kind of walks over here. Malachi, get up. She gives you a basic healing potion. It's not Malachi. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. Kamaji, wow, that was just instinctual. Malachi is a god. Yeah. <laughs> she praised Malachi, okay? Oh, I'm Malachi, so rude, may your blessings not. descend and heal this young man. <laughs> Please, do not mock us. Do not mock him. <laughs> he deserves to live. At least yeah, we need divine. him to cook. The giant bird. <laughs> what kind of what kind of healing potion? Regular healing potion, two d four plus two, I think. Hey guys, what should we do about this assholes? We could just toss them over the cliff. Please don't do that, please. I know I've tossed many people over that cliff, but I don't deserve to die. I really don't deserve to die. Why you did? Why you don't deserve to die? Uh, I don't know because I could be nice when I try to be nice. Here, do you take this? <laughs> take this. This is some bread that I made back home. 
I like baking bread. You couldn't kill a guy who likes to bake bread, could you? And he hands you a loaf of his bread. Well, I'll be I gotta take a bite. That. <laughs> okay, roll a constitution a saving throw. Oh, fuck. They <laughs> 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 tried to poison me. Your teeth are strong, and though this thing is stale as hell, you bite into it and rip it off. It tastes terrible. It's been sitting out for probably four weeks, but oh it, <laughs> does, this shit? it doesn't break your teeth. <laughs> well, you tried to poison me and Gravel Hing again. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you can't bite into it, bread? It tastes like shit. What? What is it? You call this bread? I eat it. It's rock. It's not rock. I think it's tasty. I pour water on it to soften it up. Sometimes uh, I, soup. I just walk away, like, head held low. Just walk away and go, like, over here. <laughs> I can't look at this man. That's throat. That's throat and dumb. <laughs> and I walk over to Kamaji. I tried to ask him about the griffin eggs, but they didn't really know much. No surprise there. Griffin eggs? See those beasts out there in the distance? Yeah, those are griffins. They come by and eat the corpses and scatter them. And, uh, yeah, these guys don't know much about the eggs, though. So. Don't see any around currently, but you know that they do lay their nests in these areas. We'll just have to keep a lookout for their nest. If we see one along the way, I might be tempted to try and nab one of them eggs. I wouldn't try that if I were you. You're going to get your fingers bitten off. Shut up. What? Let's throw oh. them to the griffin. <laughs> no, Let's please. throw them to the griffin, and no, when the griffin eat them, we go get and grab the egg. No, no, don't do that. Please oh, don't do that. that. Please. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> I, I I do say I, I do kind of like that plan. What are we going to just let these out? I, it does pain me to take, I a, promise. take a man's life, but... If you let me go, I'll go back home and become a baker permanently. I'll make all the bread for everyone. Now we need to throw them off. Now we need to die. <laughs> <laughs> to save humanity. <laughs> to save this world. <laughs> this world don't deserve you. Don't deserve this. No, Come please. <laughs> He's going to try to resist you. So uh, you're going to have to roll a... Uh, Grapple check. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's gonna roll a disadvantage. Oh, well, actually, shit. you didn't say you tied him up, so he's gonna Let's roll tie him up. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> he oh no! Oh, no. He's nice. stumbling. He, you are able to carry him up to your movement. Nice try, huh? I grab him like a bag. You know what? I'm gonna break his leg. Oh my god, you'll I get advantage the... because he rolled a nat one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use the my axe to chop his, his leg off. We're not breaking his leg, we're chopping it off completely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just screaming out, but how am I gonna bake bread? He uh he just brings his leg up. He, he, he miss. He avoids it. What? I, wow! <laughs> I stop moving. <laughs> I no, just want uh, to chop your leg. Roll initiative. Hey, like, you, know, you, you be careful that you don't dent your axe trying to chop his leg off. That's a fine axe you got there. You got to roll initiative. You didn't tie him up, so they're gonna try and fight back. They didn't think that you were going to throw them off the cliff. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I, I would I would fight for fight your life. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh wait, what? Why is it dead? That's my initiative rolls. Uh, Nineteen. It says fifty-nine initiative. Uh, each one is one person. Yep. Let's see. I thought you did really good on that one roll. <laughs> this guy's eleven. And this guy is 20 total. And 13. Okay, <clears throat> Rig, wow. 
22. You are right. up. I'm going to shoot number two. I'm going to finish the job. But I only get an eight. Eight misses. Yep. Okay. It is the Outlander's turn, number two. He is going to move here. And he is going to hit Gruzlock with his Great Club. 22 to hit. Oh, Seven bludgeoning damage. You've heard. Right. The Outlander veteran is going next. He's going to take... His caber fell off, so... He can only do an unarmed attack now. <laughs> uh, let me see. 15 misses. Okay. Blood you like a pussy. One more hit, though. And he did, oh, gets an 18. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and his He's angry now. attack is... That's, okay, so it's one of these. Four bludgeoning damage. Man. Plus, <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's just the, the die for unarmed attacks, or do you add the, let me check that. Hmm? Hold on one second. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then it goes to Gruzlock. Okay, so, hmm. I still grab for him, right? Yes. I gotta use him to bonk the number two. I smack him on the number two. Okay, so you're gonna be moving him over here. Yeah, I Got just it. grab grab him like a stick and smash him at the number two. Okay, roll your unarmed attack or unarmed strike. I'm on strike. It should be like an improvised weapon. Oh, that's true. Well, as to hit would work for that, though, right? Um, I think so. Uh, it, gosh, I barely some, this. Depending on like what feats he has and stuff. Right. I don't have any feed for that. Okay, give me one second while I just double check the rules on this. Why I am Grapple? What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I clicked it on the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm just checking real quick. So small improvised weapons are generally like 1d4 of damage. But this is a big guy, so we'll say it's a d8. Eight. Did I plus yeah. the? Did it plus the strength modify? I think it just does the damage die. Just the eight. Yep. Oh yeah. What? <clears throat> two damage is all you needed. You killed number nice. two. Nice. <laughs> He's dead. What about the three? Did he, does he take two damage? Too? He, he'll also take two damage, yeah. But okay. he's still up. He's still up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I still got. Okay, I use my offhand. Wait. I guess not, right? Or if I... Can I still use offhand to attack him? Uh, it's an action. To hit with the guy. Same bonus action. Uh, yeah, your offhand is a bonus action. Yes, so you could do that still. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna come to here and use my use my hand offhand to chop the fight. Okay. So you're going to take an attack of opportunity then from the veteran before you swing. He is going he to... Just, is Wait. He just, oh, he's, he's with grappled. I'm sorry. He's grappled. Never mind. Yeah. Ten misses. Do I got... 
I don't got advantage. Hmm. No. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Get ahead, guys. He's gonna move here. He's gonna attack with his great club. Nat one, that misses. <laughs> Next outlander's turn. He's gonna move here, attack with his great club. Oh my <laughs> god. That's his turn. Mm. Come on. Um I'm going to attack number six, I think. Okay. With my short bow. 18 to hit. Ooh, that hits. Let's go. And I am not to sneak attack off. I'm not sneaking. So eight. eight piercing damage. Damage to six. Strike him in his shoulder. It looks like it went all the way through his back. He's in quite Next. a lot of pain. All right, that's it. Mitra's turn. Okay, Mitra's going to go here to get advantage. She's going to use her club. And she misses. Rig. All right, I am going to target number five. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Oh. Oh, no. Jeez. Anything else? That's it for Rig. Outlander veteran. He rolls to get out of the grapple. He's going to roll his athletics check. It's an action. Oh, God. <laughs> so I need to roll athletic too, right? You can roll... Yeah, you have to roll athletics. Yeah. I can roll athletics or acrobatics. Okay, he's stuck. Get run away, huh? Gruzlock. <laughs> okay. I gonna... So I put down all my weapon. I grapple him with my two hands. Okay. And smack him to the number six. If I do that, if I use both of my hand to smack him, does that now just put the damage dice? Yeah, it's still D8, I would say, because I was doing it by object weight. So okay. D4 for small, D6 for medium, D8 for large, and then D10 would be something even bigger if you could move it. Okay. Or something that yeah, like I, I, resembles a weapon ooh. too. Yeah. Nice. Eight. Eight. Okay. Ah. Well, he, they're gonna let's see. He's gonna move into six, right? Yeah. Smack him. You hit this guy's I'm head. He gets if I use... <laughs> concussion. <laughs> nice. and this guy takes eight. Wait, I I need to use the the non lethal damage so so they can stay alive. I want Griffin to eat them alive. Okay. Well, the cliff, the cliff is like a hundred foot cliff. Oh. So they're gonna yeah. die no matter what. I, uh, I, I guess. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you could lower my rope, I guess. <laughs> if you really wanted to get into it. I don't think we even have that much rope. Probably right, not. Because I use the maybe two hands, so that's my turn. I cannot use the. Yeah. Hmm. Very good. Outlander's turn. He's going to move here. Great club attack. 17, but he gets advantage. That's going to no, hit. He... Wait, he still got advantage? Even I grab hold a three? I think so, because he's on the other side of you. Hmm. All right. And then five. Eight bludgeoning damage. So you take four. Right. No, not four. I'm not raging. Oh, you're not raging? I'm down. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oof. He's then going to move here. <coughs> Kamaji's turn. All right. I'm going to shoot at number three. There's... Nice. That hits. Oh, max damage, 11. Okay. He's severely wounded. 
You hit him in the gut, he sort of like knocks knocks the wind out of him briefly. He's still up though. Anything else? Alright. Um I'll move here. Okay. To give Mitch Mitra advantage if she wants it. Yeah, she's gonna turn and hit number five with her club. That's gonna hit five damage to him. Okay, <clears throat> that's Mitra's turn. It goes up to Rig. Come on, Rig. All right, we're gonna go for three. Let's see if I get another eight. No, oh, twenty-three to hit. Nice. nice. Okay. Get his ass. Six piercing damage. This is six lethal piercing damage to number three. Yep. Okay. Six brings him still up. What? How? Oh my god. It's the veteran's turn. It's going to attack. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to has to attack Mitra, otherwise, not good. Strength. 11 misses. He takes his second attack and it misses. His grapple is ended though. Gruzlock, death save. Okay. I will stand up with my wow. Yeah. No! Whoa. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh no. Mm. That was bad. Oh, oh shit. Outlander is going to attack Kamaji. Is that karma? Because I want to throw him down to feed a griffin. Kamaji's turn. Maybe it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mighty Thorwing, guide me. <laughs> You're up, Kamaji. Um, I'm going to hit this guy with my daggers. Which what I gotta do? What am I doing? Just doing the thieves' tool roll with that. Twenty to hit. Twenty hits. And nine piercing damage. Number five, right? Yep. Yeah. That drops him. He's dead. <clears throat> nice. Perfect. Um. I'll go over here. Why did you use your? Uh, I guess you can use the sneak attack, right? Uh, I can't really, because I need to be right now. I need to be hidden. Um, to do that, or I need to have advantage to do it. Yeah, you have an advantage. Oh, I did have advantage there, but I whatever. I killed him with what I. Yeah. That's I true. killed him anyway. Mitra's going to use non-lethal damage with her club. Okay. He's still up. What a tough guy. Now I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Rig's turn. Uh, I guess he's go for Brad. All right. Will he I... like his Brad. 15 to hit. Misses. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's his turn. He's going to attack Kamaji. Nat 20. <laughs> and what was I doing for the damage roll? I think it was a D6. Six. Six. Yeah. Oh no, I'm down. He got a glob too. What's yeah. that? This is just his unarmed strike. He's a really big, tough dude. Man, what a tough guy. I guess maybe his bread is good. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should that's, keep him. That's and, what's uh, made him tough, is that bread he's been eating. Eat, eat his bread every day. We can be tough like this. <laughs> 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 he turns yeah, to the meter. There might be something to that. <laughs> and he misses. Okay, that's his turn. Gruzlak, death save. Dude, you, this might be it. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> yeah! 
fuck you, bro! Oh! No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's bad. No. no way out of that. Kamaji. All right. New uh, character. Grudlock have an identical twin brother who could take his place. <laughs> oh my god. Grudlock. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. Brutal. Those brutal. were some brutal death saves. <laughs> yeah. What a, a one and a two. <laughs> and we already winning. How oh, and uh, I'm dying. I'm dead. What the fuck? Well, our actions would have consequences. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Next so time we need to fight him up. Oh, so fuck. brutal. Okay. That's why, that's why you can't fuck around at level one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Kamaji. Okay. Oh, passed. All right, Mitra. I'm real damn sick of you, Outlanders. I was gonna knock you out, but now I think I'm just gonna kill you. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a she second. Missed. So la last session when we fight the bird. Yeah. I remember I got a a thing. What's that thing, you know, can let me re-roll? Oh, DM inspiration. Yeah, I got inspiration. Oh. Right? True. That's right, you do I have inspiration. And okay. I haven't used it yet, right? Uh, let me check. Hold on. I actually have not actually... Re you have not used it yet. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, nice. This uh, is it. This is it! <laughs> so, do it, Greslock. Well, how can I do it? Like, uh... I think you can scroll back up to where you made your death save and you just press the advantage button. Oh, yep. okay. Uh, this one, right? Okay, I got, I gotta do it. Here it goes. Do it. Wait, wait, let me concentrate. <laughs> oh. Pray to the Minotaur <laughs> Spore God. Pray right to the Thor Wing! I will not end here! I'm... Stop him! It's gonna yeah. be a not one. No! <laughs> oh, that... Nice. Oh, that's what I told you! Oh, I... This is the second had... time he's done this. Didn't he do this right. before? <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's just like last time! Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. That's so cool! You just I had to focus it. really hard to get that yes. down. Oh, yes! Oh, some of my oh. inner Minotaur power! My I heart has mended. I was so heartbroken there. Oh. My heart has mended. So I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'm back! Oh, you <coughs> think you got me? No! Never! <laughs> oh. He's just the god of chaos. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> it's Mitra's turn. She missed. It then goes to Rig. Rig, you gotta finish right. this, dude. Alright, we're gonna. I'm gonna focus real good now. I'm gonna drop a bow. Pull back. Zero. <laughs> really miss. It hits the ground behind Mitra. She turns around, looks at you. You better watch what you're pulling that thing, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. It's the veteran's turn. He is going to turn and hit Gruzlock because he sees you get up. And he's going to punch you in the face. He misses the first hit. He comes in with a right swing. An 18. Basically, you're down again. For six Ooh. damage, it doesn't matter, but... And then it goes right. to Gruzlock for a death save. You know what? This is intense. I will do it again. I will do it again! Up. I'm hey, it, you! Yo, he, he rolled a lat 20. He should be up with one health. I knocked him down. Yeah, I, 
Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> he punched me in. <laughs> I punched him I'm in serious. the face. <laughs> He's get like, get down, get motherfucker. Up. Why did you die? <laughs> I was like, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Back to that! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so crazy. <laughs> well, at least I'm not dead now. You're not dead. Yeah. Can... At least you didn't roll that last time, because then you would have yeah. been dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Kamaji's turn. Man. All right. Another death save. Not a one. Just not it's a one. A... Okay. Yay. Oh well, I inspired him too. He see I. I rise up and he like I'm gonna I, rise up too. <laughs> I am gonna give you DM inspiration again for that roll. <laughs> so it is refreshed for you. <laughs> Make sure oh, to, me? you, yeah, you oh. get it again. Make sure to mark it oh, un, or unmark nice. it. Wait, but where is it? How to It's uh Where is the inspiration? I think it's under your human lineage section. Oh I saw it, I saw it. This, right? Uh so now yeah, it's got like, it. so when I use it, I just click it, right? Yes. So correct. now I got it. So, okay. Okay. Uh, Mitra's turn. She's going to try to hit with her club. <clears throat> nice. And she kills him. She's tired of this nonsense. She just wants him dead. <laughs> <sighs> oh, sick of all this shit. Rick, get over here and help me Ming, Grizzlock, and Kamaji. Holy shit. She walks over. She's going to attempt a medicine check on Kamaji. Ming, Grizzlock. Uh, nat 20, so you are up, and you can heal 1d4 health points. Kamaji. Ooh. Awesome. What about me? Uh, Rig rolled for you. You are up with uh, one health point. Okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, again. I will never die. Okay, we finished the encounter. Let me go ahead and give you your stuff. Are we level up? Uh, you'll know here in just a second. Save encounter log. <clears throat> oh, you're also going to get some uh, treasure. If you guys could just roll something for me real quick. Um, it's going to be 1d100 total treasure. 1d100. Yep. Every one of us or? Just one person rolls it. You go. You can go ahead, Yeast. Me? Okay. Mm, concentrate. <laughs> Rolling hard. Yeah. Ah, oh, looks lame. Yeah. <laughs> you got 38, 38 silver. Yeah. Not even gold. What the fuck? Lame. Okay, and then roll one more for me. It's going to be for the veteran guy. <clears throat> veteran guy. Okay. Yep. Dial 1D100. Yep. Okay. Yep. What? Thirteen Lame. gold. Ooh. At least it's gold. So what? Uh, we each get like. Should have leveled up. We each get nine silver and. Oh, yeah. Like two, or no three, <clears throat> gold I guess. Well, Mitra get the gold too. As I'm splitting it up four ways, yeah, I figure. Cool. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> you guys are exhausted after this fight. That was a lot more than you thought was going to happen. Uh, you're just very thankful that those rocks hadn't fallen on anybody. If someone had, like, happened to be in that spot, it would have been pretty bad. But everything's fine. Uh, I would say you can roll a perception check if you'd like. You do get advantage because you kind of know what you're looking for now. There are traps all along these rock faces, along the edges. But you didn't draw oh, yeah. near enough to know. Just on this side, you drew near. Uh, the rest of them, you can see where these, like, release levers are. If you shoot it, it releases, like, these rocks that blend into the background. But you're good. 
Um, if you'd like, you can roll a an investigation check on the rest of the map. Each of you can roll this. We are level two now. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Investigation. Well, sorry, I rolled wrong. This is intimidation. I don't need a Well, next on me. Okay, so I'm just going to move you guys around according to what you find. So, Rig and Kamaji. Actually, I could just do this. And let's see, Gruzlock. Gruzlock, you're particularly fascinated by this very large tree growing in the corner of the map over here. And when you approach it, you notice that um, there's something moving up in the branches. You can roll a perception check to see if you can figure out what it is. Perception. And you do have advantage. You have, you have advantage, though, because oh. of the size of this creature. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? Whoa, <laughs> oh, no. I, I guess that's <laughs> You're like, this tree is alive. It's a, the tree. And you, you think that it's some kind of, like, um, maybe a, a place of power where you can speak to a god. And so you're trying to speak to this tree, and you hear this, this guttural growling. And you think that the tree is speaking to you. What is it that you're saying to the tree? Uh. <laughs> Flee, guy me, let me become unstoppable like you. Okay. I wrote two one. If they I still get anything. When you do that, That's um far. A griffin flies down 30 feet out of the tree. And you can see it now through the brush. Meanwhile, over here, uh, let's see, Rig, Kamaji, and Mitra, you see a campfire that has been doused, um, a crate, and then what looks like an eco, e sorry, Iku bow which is like an ore, and it's often used as a weapon. Um, yeah, if you would like to roll, um, you are sorry, if, you, if you'd like, you can just gather these things. You have just enough time to gather them, and then something is going to happen. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, so, isn't, so where is the griffin egg at? You don't know that yet. Oh. Okay. Zero, so we go. So you find. So are we? <clears throat> real quick, you find okay. five common plant parts that you're going to want to add to, um, to your Google Sheet, and an Iku bow, and all that Iku stuff go. Bow. Yeah, and all that stuff goes away. <clears throat> Iku bow. That sounds not very... Two nat ones. That's terrible. Um, so you yeah, find so yourself, Gruzlak, looking, uh, staring face to face with a descending griffin that's charging you mid-flight. Man. Uh, you gotta yeah. roll initiative. Just there's, me? There's five common plant parts? Yes. So, <clears throat> what about the body we just kill? Are we still carrying them? Uh, I assumed you just left them over there or kicked them off the side, but they're all dead. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> he was the griffin wasn't going to attack, but because you thought it was a tree talking to you with the two not ones, and you started screaming at it, the griffin was intimidated and threatened. And so it descended to protect its nest. <laughs> I'm praying. You have a very booming voice. Stupid <laughs> <Do me> griffin. <laughs> the griffin gets to go first. It is going to fly here. <clears throat> so I will think this is the the gods challenge me. It's a test. I need to kill this griffin to get yes. the power of the god. 
It comes at you with its beak first. A 13. It misses as you dodge out of the way. And then it c- tries to swipe you with its claws. A nat 20. And it deals oh, 22 slashing damage. Holy shit, I almost die. That is its the turn. Fuck? It then goes to Gruzlock. I almost died. What the fuck? It's a griffin. Should we roll, should we roll initiative two if we see this? Yeah, you would see this. You're close enough. Okay. Um, um, so I rage first. Rage. Oh, it looks like and? it's not it's not you next. I'm so sorry. Because the oh. initiative changed it, yeah. <clears throat> so it would be Kamaji next retroactively because he joined the fight. Yeah. And then you'd go last, Gruzlock. But the griffin's already gone this round. Okay. Um, I'll run... Run my 30 feet... And then I will use my bonus action to hide, I guess. <laughs> Can I hide where I'm at? This open field? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay back where I was first. I'm gonna hi- Can I hide now? Um... Roll a, roll like a stealth over, check. Let's see. Or or over here somewhere? Yeah, if you're in the corner, I'd say you could roll a stealth check. You gotta pass its passive perception, which is rather high for a monster of this challenge rating. That fails, it sees you. Okay. Um, well, then I'm just gonna shoot it. Eleven. That misses. Oh, so yeah. close. I figured. Uh, you need disadvantage, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I do need disadvantage. Yeah. It failed anyway. But, but yeah, I feel. Yeah. Huh. All right. That's it. That's Mitra's turn. She's extremely worried when she sees the griffin. She goes, we got a real problem here, boys. I don't know why I did an Australian accent. <laughs> she equips her short bow, and she's going to go ahead and try to fire, but it is disadvantage. I'm going to have her move forward 30 feet. Then she's going to fire her short bow. 16 is going to hit. It does four piercing damage. You see a bunch of feathers fly off the I wing. I'm dying again. I don't have potion. And then it goes to Rick. So the people we killed earlier, are their bodies still over there, like, on the cliffside? Yeah, unless you pushed them off. I, I guess you didn't say that, so they would technically be on the edge. Yep. I'm just wondering if we could lure the griffin over to the already dead bodies. Mm. Mm. Not very fast, though. Even dashing, it can only get about here. I think, I mean, we wouldn't know this, but I think, like, it's protecting its nest from Grozlock. <clears throat> so I don't think it would really, like, abandon its nest, you know? Uh, mean, yeah. yeah. But we don't know that, so it might be yeah. worth trying. We We just see a griffin attacking him. <laughs> like randomly. Yeah, I don't have animal handing. Hmm. Um, can I just make a, like a nature check just to see what I can tell about this griffin? Sure. Seventeen. Here's the griffin. <clears throat> you know that they do um, live in these areas in their nests, high up in trees. Sometimes not. As often, but sometimes along the cliffs in, like, these holes that they dig out. But most of the time they're in trees. That's what they prefer. Uh, They're fierce protectors of their nests. They often lay two to three eggs each time they... their gestation periods. Um, 
and they will even kill other griffin to protect their nests if they're not part of the same flock. Uh, they generally don't reside with too many other griffin. It's usually like a pair. Um, but often the one of them is off hunting for extended periods of time. It could be the, the male or the female. Doesn't matter really. Um, you know that they are revered for mounts. People do like to capture them if possible, but they're very, very difficult to train. Though they are extremely smart. Well, smart... No, no, they're actually not that smart. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> um, they're not that smart, <laughs> but they they are wise in the ways of the forest. Um, so there is like, it's difficult, but there is like documented cases of them being mounts. There is documented cases. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that was I was literally going to ask that right, right when you answered it. So I just shout out. Grizzlog, I think you better back way up. I think this this fellow's protected to nest. No! <laughs> <laughs> this stupid griffin attacking me for nothing! <laughs> I'm just praying to my god! I did nothing wrong! Roger, we're gonna have to find ourselves another barbarian pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. Oh my god. You know about this, this, had a twin brother? This this one uh this one's got a death wish, I reckon. <laughs> <clears throat> well It's not my fault <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so 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 Ray dashed to get out that far, so that was his turn and he just ran out and then like told him to leave and then okay. kinda shrugged his shoulders. We need to kill this bird. Y'all better gather up. Gruzlock, it is your turn. This must be the test of the mighty Corwin. I rage. Ah. Okay. And I gonna. Hmm. So can I do this? So at the first, I use two hand to hold a wood axe, wood cutting axe, hit him with two hand, and after that, I stole my, I, I draw my hand axe to the off hand. Can you can, you can if you drop the wood cutting axe on the ground. Hmm. So you I, swing. I I, I'm pretty yeah. sure he can just do that because because the other axe is versatile oh that's true yeah that's a good point so he just changes to one hand and then draws and yeah, yeah. that's just, yeah. that's just free free movement stuff yeah good point okay i'm gonna do that so i'm raging and i use my wood cutting axe to strike him okay die you stupid bird yeah 18 hits and uh hmm I don't think I'm gonna use reckless attack. Oh, yeah. Nine damage slashing. And okay. I'm gonna pull down my hand axe to the off hand. Shing. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, you're gonna attack with your off hand though? He no, raged. I already used my bonus oh, action to I'm rage. Sorry. Right. So yeah, I cannot attack. It's Kamaji's turn then. <clears throat> okay. Um. I realize this is kind of pointless to try hiding anyway, so I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash, so I can finally do rogue stuff. And how far away is he? Shoot. A little too far, but. I'll attack with disadvantage anyway. Okay. Hits. 15 still hits. 15 still hits. Sweet. Only six piercing damage. Okay, got it. 
Alrighty, so then it's going to go to the Griffin's turn. It is going to use non-lethal damage to knock you out with its beak. Ooh, a 15 how nice. misses. I dodged it. it uses its claws to do the same. 19 hits. Ah! 10 damage. I think you're knocked. Those five? Yep. Yeah, I'm knocked. Okay, he is then going to carry you. Oh, shit. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, shit. 80 feet. Yep. Here. It's actually about a little no. bit behind because he is going at an angle. We'll account for the You're gonna feed me to the little baby. <clears throat> Alright, so oh, he gets no. about there. And then it goes to Mitra. Well, y'all, we got a big problem here. Oh, man. Wait, you're moving me. Oh, I'm moving you. I'm sorry. I'm really zoomed out. Yeah, it's, it's a big Big boy map. Do this like that. There we go. All right. She goes 30 feet. How far am I? Oof, I'm over the 80, I think, or whatever it is. I'm going to hit anyways with disadvantage. Oh, that's misses. That's Mitra's turn. Rig. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, like we're pretty sure he's taken the Gridlock up to be food. Wait. Well, it's definitely not good, whatever. <laughs> Whatever's going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. How close is the closest of the dead bodies on this cliffside here? That's uh, still a long way away. Uh, the dead bodies is very far. Yeah. It would take me like five turns of dashing to get there and then five turns back. Only I had chopped off someone's hand when I had the chance. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm just going to dash forward because I'm very far away. Okay. I've got tiny little dwarf legs. <laughs> tiny little dwarf legs. My legs are pretty small. Gruzlock, you are knocked out, so you don't have to roll for death saves. <clears throat> oh. Oh. oh, nice. Because it's non-lethal. Right. Death saves is his middle name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kamaji's oh. turn. Um, it's going my middle name, too. <laughs> but, oh... Dash to here with a bonus action and then shoot him. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Actually can hit him without this. Oh, well, never mind. That's misses, I'm guessing. And, uh, 14 my turn. hits. It hits? Yep. Ooh. He's low. And one the ones for damage rolls. Six piercing damage. Yeah, that's hurting. That's hurting you guys. Alright. Anything else? Uh no. Griffin's turn. He goes fifty five feet here. He drops you off. About five and then he's gonna go. 20 feet. Uh, when you are dropped off, go ahead and roll a perception check with disadvantage. Me? Yeah. Oh. You're unconscious, but this would just be like, you know. Hey! Advantage. Yeah, you can't see anything. You're totally, you're out cold right now. Oh. Mitra's turn. She's going to go 30 feet. She's going to roll her short bow. See how far we are. Yep, we're out of range. <clears throat> so that's going to miss. And then it's going to go to rig. I don't dash. I can get about here. I'm just going to keep dashing. Okay. 
Greslock, you can roll perception with disadvantage. Okay, perception. Yeah. Disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, just getting like very brief bits of information you see that you're like lying in a nest it's very uncomfortable um and there are well, actually there's only one egg in the nest right now only egg <clears throat> no baby only one egg okay okay they're gonna eat your egg stupid bird and then you just immediately you know pass out again kamaji's turn <laughs> Um, all right. I'm going to go 30 feet and kind of, can I hide in this, in the tree here? I could roll stealth. Mm -hmm. 18. That passes. You've got stealth. <clears throat> Okay, cool. I'm going to shoot. 23 to hit. That hits. And 15 piercing damage. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Still up. Anything else? Nope. It's the Griffin's turn. It flies 68 feet to you. It's going to use its beak. 16 to hit. That hits. 8 piercing damage. Ouch. It then uses its claw. Or its claws. 23 total. Oh no. 9 <laughs> slashing. Uh, puts me down perfectly. Okay. Oh shit. Mitra's turn. Oh, and then it goes 70, so I got 10 more feet here. It's taking you. Actually, I don't think it could do that, because it's got to do that on its next turn. So it stays there. Mitra goes next. <clears throat> She's going to use her short bow. Hits four piercing damage. And then it goes to Rick. It's still on All the right. ground. So Rig sees this um, Griffin like knock out and pick up like the only person who's like actually been nice to him. And so even though Rig is usually pretty level headed, he is just going to run and try to jump on his back and make an animal handling check to like ride him. <laughs> okay, let's try it. That <laughs> he's just gonna like. He's going to, like, jump and just, like, slide off the other side. <laughs> okay. It fails. Um, the thing just shakes yep. you off. You make it to the other side. Yep. Uh, let's see. Don't pick up my friend. We'll go to Gruzlock, who's knocked out. And then Kamaji. Kamaji's turn. I can't even roll, you... like, constitution to, <clears throat> to trying to stand up. Uh, no, not not for that, sadly. All right. Let's see. Kamaji, you are also knocked out, so you don't have to roll anything. It's the Griffin's turn. It moves to Rig. 11 piercing. And it misses with the claws, which is what you wanted. <clears throat> Mitra's turn. She's going to move in 30 feet. She's going to strike with the short bow. 17 hits. Another 8 damage. Rig's turn. Alright. Well, I guess. Oh, if you're not going to play nice, uh, I suppose I have no choice but to shoot you. 15. And you are adjacent to it, so it's disadvantage. But I would take a step back then, I suppose, to... If you do that, how, how far? Oh, takes... attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to my dagger then and just stab it. Okay, I'm gonna erase that one. I saw you have an axe. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> nice. You see an my opportunity. My dagger does a little bit better damage than my than my axe. 
as it's like picking up Kamaji, you see an opening and you shove your dagger into its heart because you realize in this moment that, hey, if we can't tame it, maybe we can extract some really good monster parts from it. And I bet my friend's going to want to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> that, like one extra damage. That's enough. You drop it. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. Nobody hurts Kamaji with rings around. <laughs> okay you guys can go ahead and farm this let me look at the table for it i'm still unconscious you're still we're unconscious both. this is true yeah we both are i'm gonna make a medicine check for kamaji okay he is stabilized okay so you can pop up with a health point okay so for monsters, can um, actually let's deal with uh, Gruzlock first, then we'll cut out the heart. So as you guys approach this absolutely gargantuan tree, you see that the nest is way up there in the branches. You're gonna have to try and climb it. Yeah, I'll climb it. I I, I want the egg anyway, and I can't. I, I don't trust anybody else to handle it but myself. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> um, acrobatics? Acrobatics works. Yep. Oh. You fall. <laughs> um, you are going to take... Doesn't matter. Whatever damage I take puts me down. Six damage <laughs> falling down the tree. You're knocked out. You're going to be right here because you would have gone to the base of the tree. <laughs> Um, he's knocked out Rig, Mitra. See how a dwarf, a dwarf can handle this. I'm going to try to climb this to the tree. I also fall off. You fall, you take a d6 of damage. Six damage. Oh, no. How far <laughs> is this? <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm still up. I'm still up. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all don't know how to climb <laughs> trees. Now, step back and let me show you how it's done. And she steps up to roll. She's going to roll the strength. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm rolling the wrong character. He's another one. 20. No she way. climbs. Oh, when she gets to the top of the tree, she's supposed to roll the one. <laughs> <laughs> she finds Grozlock curled up next to an egg. Grozlock, Grozlock, wake up. God. Uh, give me five minutes. Uh, Damn it, wake up, Grozlock. She's kicking you in the ass. So oh, fine. She rolls you over and she gives you her last healing potion. It's 2d4 nice. plus 2. Ooh. 2d4 plus yep. 2. I'm going to try to stabilize Kamaji again in my medicine check. Okay. Uh, that medicine check fails and then Mitra tells Gruzlock alright now we gotta get down this tree you ready to climb I don't suggest you what? start falling now I'm on tree you gotta roll now hey, watch this egg but I don't know if I'd touch that if I were you it's just right. inviting more trouble <laughs> I'm hungry though you're hungry. You want to eat a griffin egg? Why don't you just eat normal eggs, like chicken eggs or something, like everybody else? It's bigger. All right. <laughs> I guess bring it. Here, what, you want okay. me to put it in my backpack, or are you gonna carry it down? Because it's, it's a bit cumbersome. You might, you might drop it. Mm. I right, don't know if it's better it, that drop. his reasoning is it's bigger, or that that actually convinced her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's big. it is bigger. I, I let point, her, yeah. I mean, <laughs> let her carry the egg. I gotta just climb. Okay, she's gonna roll what? athletics to climb down. If she falls, then the egg breaks. Oh mm. shit! No, I gonna take the egg. Are you <laughs> sure about egg. that? I mean, I'm I'm a decent climber. Yeah, all right, all right. You can you can Thank roll you. insight to know if you're better at climbing or if she's better at climbing. Okay. Inside, hey, yeah. 
I'll say 10 plus passes for that. You got 12. So uh, sh- you're actually better at climbing than she is. Oh, All right. Give me the egg. I don't trust you. All right. I'm not sure I trust you. You're the one that got us into this pickle in the first place. And she goes in and climbs down before you. And she passes. I can feel. <laughs> Let that be I known. I can feel this is the. This is the test of the god. Anything. Garling. Anything below 10 is going to unfortunately fail. Can I like tie the egg on me? You could you could use another way of getting the egg down. Sure, you don't have to climb down with it. Do you think of something else? Uh, let me check. I think I got rope. Wait. Yeah, I got rope. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Roll a sleight of hand if you want to use your rope. Oh, you know what? Can I like uh, put the egg inside my bed roll and then use the rope? Okay. Carefully use rope to carry the bed roll and slowly drop it down. Sounds like a seventh grade science project. Yes, you could totally do that. Um, I'm going to lower the DC. So if you get uh, anything five or higher, you the you get down with the egg intact. But th- how this is how it's going to work. You're going to fall still below 10, right? But between five and 10, the egg is safe. If the, if the roll is lower than five, then the egg breaks. Okay. Okay. So what, sh- how, what should I roll? The athletics. Athletic. Because you're still okay. climbing down with it, or are you lowering it by the rope? I lower it by the rope. Oh, okay. Roll sleight of hand then. This sleight is this is even easier. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey. Okay, that passes. Right. You lower the egg down to the ground safely. It's there. They can oh. pick it up. Now you just have to climb down. Okay, I gotta <laughs> slowly climb it up, climb down. Yeah. Yeah. That passes. You're good. Yay. Oh, I'm fine. I I passed the task, mighty Corwin. She's going to roll medicine. All right, you're stabilized, Kamaji. She stabilized you. You got one health point. Now, I don't know about you, boys, but I think we should probably be heading out of here. No hey, Kamaji, good. check out this egg. We got a grip on the egg. Awesome. <laughs> You, th- you three be crazy for carrying that with us. If that griffin sees us with that egg from up above, we're going to be doomed. What? The it's griffin? dead. It's dead. What are you talking about? They often come in pairs. Oh, yeah, that's true. If it come, kill them again. Do you remember what Rig said about those griffins? That they nest in pairs and one of them goes off hunting? It might be on its way back right now. Oh. They also said it often goes out hunting for weeks oh, at a time. That's true. That's true. Well, let's skedaddle before it gets back. Yeah, let's get our ass out of here. Yeah. She walks over here to the, the dead griffin. Are you still wanting to carve this thing up here, Rig? I don't see why not. I don't like to let things like this go to waste. It's an insult to the forest. Well, make quick work of it. It won't I be a nature check. You will roll nature check. Is that nature, nature roll? Yep. 18. We won't be able to take it all with us, but we should take at least some with us, what we can carry, and uh, we should stash the rest. Agreed. We're going to have ourselves a meat stash in every single haven area here from uh, down to here. <laughs> I gotta take some fizzer. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. You get five common, two uncommon parts for this creature. It's actually a decent roll for it. Five common, two uncommon? Yeah. Monster supplies. You have enough to make a potion. A couple potions. Put it in the shared treasure? Uh, no, it's, no nothing. It's... it's in the Google Sheets. Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's for all of us, so it's. I, I just I got, I put it in there. Cool. Awesome. I 
let's get out of here. Not feeling well. Okay. So, this kid's gonna be done. Let's go ahead and finish this and get you your XP. There we go. Nice, getting close to level three. <clears throat> 538, got you another 100 each. I'm that close. Not that close, but Not it's a good chunk. All right, and now you guys are gonna be moving on to the next map. <clears throat> All right, so. Your journey takes you to here. Maybe we shouldn't eat the egg. We should like, uh, go race him. <laughs> yeah. Rig, Rig can have a pack. <laughs> I'd love to have a pack. <laughs> Sadly, you don't have enough time to take a short rest at this moment. Nor do you have the comforts to do so. Uh, a long rest, excuse me. But you do have time for a short rest. When you a get short rest? Short rest. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Two ones in a row. Ouch. Oh my god. Nice. I am full again. When you uh, when I... you guys arrive um, at the cliff side here, you see that this is the bandits, or the Outlander camp. Excuse me. Wow. There are lots of people here. You've got two, four, six regular Outlanders and two captains. They're standing in the center of the ruins. Uh, from what you can make out, there's a spear leaning against the wall near one of them, and it looks like there is a backpack leaning against the other wall. Um, it is positioned along a very steep cliff. This cliff is insta-death, just so you're aware. It descends far beyond 100 feet. This is probably upwards of 500 plus feet. Cool. There is no coming back from it. And you guys, uh, you guys are right here in the corner of the map, if you can see that. And you're just looking over it, and you're in a bunch of very thick brush. You are stealthed currently. Unless you do something like move, if you move from this position at all, you're going to have to roll a stealth roll. Um, this you is, hide this the is... egg first, right? Mm, yeah, sure. Um, but is this the same guys that stole the sun sunstone yes okay all right the big showdown how do you want to play it i feel like we should just roll initiative let's, let's hide the egg first we don't want to bring the egg in the fight unless yeah. we use the egg to summon a griffin and have the griffin attack him <laughs> oh <laughs> How can his born so fast? You know, if you'd yeah. saved the griffin, something else might have happened, but you didn't do that, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, he attacked me first. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, no, Just some really bad rolls, honestly. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Um... I think we should just roll initiative and just go from there. Okay. And hide the uh, ag first at the at here. Okay, so place it over there in the yeah. corner where it's safe. Ooh, awesome. It looks like Rig will be going first. You're stealthed. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. It's in range. So I'm just going to take my short bow. I'm going to aim it at number 10. 24 to hit. That hits. Nine piercing damage. Okay. The arrow zips through the air, hits this guy in the upper clavicle, 
It's pretty deep wound. He looks like he's um, gasping for breath. Uh, his friend does see this, but he's like just kind of processing the information still. Uh, for next, for the surprise, it goes to Gruzlock. Nobody so, else has noticed. Just just those two guys have noticed it. So what do you say? Like we are at very high here. Yep, you're about twenty five feet higher than the other ledge. So is this the same? This guy. Wait, this is at the same high as us. Or uh no, actually, uh, you got. Your guys are about 20 feet higher than number 4 and 10, and they're 20 feet higher than um, the captains down there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so if I come here, they won't found me found out, right? Well, number 10 is aware of an arrow now. I mean, if I come here... Yeah, you, can yeah, you have to roll stealth. Yep. Uh, right, stealth. Oh, yeah. But isn't we are still at the, like a surprise? You're in the surprise round, yes. But to keep your stealth, you'll have to roll it. You also got to roll you want... athletics. Because you moved. If you didn't move, you... Athletic? Yep. If, if you're climbing. I'm not climbing. I oh, just if you're just moving eight. one square. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say you don't have to roll stealth then unless you move off of this platform. Okay. I'm still I think here. that's more yeah. fair. And uh, <clears throat> let me check out the distance. Mm. I'm going to roll my javelin to that guy. Ten or four? Um, ten. Uh, yeah, I guess 10. Ah, fuck. That hits? And I need this. No, probably not. Well, you're, I need you're, this vintage. Well, no, you're also hidden, so it's flat. It's, a, it's flat yeah. roll. Oh, nice. All right. So that hit. Oh, yeah. Ah, what the fuck? That kills he's him. Dead. He's dead. His Yay. friend does notice, though. <laughs> we'll see if he gets a an alarm off or not. Okay, oh, after Gruzlock, it goes to Kamaji. Alright. I'm also going to shortbow this guy. On the bench. 18 to hit. Hits. 12 piercing damage. That kills him. When he drops, Ooh. everything remains silent. Combat technically ends. So you finished it in your surprise. Oh. Um, I do need to roll something. All right. Okay. All right. That's it for right now. What do you want to do next? Um, how how do we get over here? Is this like a gap here? You got to roll an how athletics do... check. You got to climb down part way and then jump over a gap. It's a difficult athletics check. Okay. And... What if I want to get down this cliff? Same thing? Yes. It's technically simpler, but you are exposed, so they may see you. They will roll perception against your stealth as you're climbing down. It's not against their passive. Um. Oh. By the way, if we stay high ground, will we, will we have the advantage on the range attack, like Boulder's Gate? No. No. No? No. Okay. We could talk about doing uh, something like that in the future, maybe. But... Um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stay up here. Okay. 
All right, so staying on the know. ledge. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that was Kamaji. And then it goes to Rig already went. So Mitra. She's going to move here. She's going to try and take that leap. All right. She is going to fail. She is going to drop 20 feet. She is. She takes eight damage. She looks back yeah, at you and whispers, Hell oh, shit. I didn't really want to try it because I have seven health. Yep. She's going to roll. And I also didn't want to be the first one out there either. Yeah, it makes sense. She is going to pass the passive perception uh, roll. So she's still stealthed. Oh, it was a difficult maneuver. I don't know if I recommend it. Maybe there's another way down. The cliff face over there on the left side looks a little easier, but it's definitely exposed. She's just going to finish her movement. Uh, How about she, this tree? There here. is a tree here. Well, you might be able to get to that tree, but, you know, the first ten feet are completely exposed. What about you jump very fast? Like a ninja, you know? You could certainly try. You could certainly try, but it looks like they're looking around. Look at them. And when she points over and you see the, the outlanders, they are looking around. They seem to be... You could roll insight, I suppose. Insight. That kind of like peering off into the distance, everyone seems to have been like looking for someone or waiting for someone to return, perhaps. Perhaps the guy that you killed. Oh. That you murdered. <laughs> You know what? Screw this. Let's just go count him out. Okay. Uh, it would go to the next surprise. You guys are still surprised, so we'll go rig. Alright, let's just see how... Not quite. I'd have to roll a disadvantage. Yeah, let's, let's try it anyway. Let's just see. Number number five with this advantage. Number five with this advantage. Twenty-one to hit. That hits. And piercing damage. Ooh, that drops him to a knee. He gasps. Ooh. I want to see if they notice that because they're so close, but they are going to get disadvantage on it. Uh, let's see. I like how bad they've been at noticing things. Like she literally fell down a cliff and didn't notice. No one saw that. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must be a wing. They did not notice him get take that arrow. <laughs> must the two be captains. Like imagination. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an arrow on his eyeball. <laughs> like like they're looking around. Like trying to see when their guy's coming back. <laughs> and they're not noticing their friend getting an arrow. He's like, he's behind this wall, you know, like this wall right here. Yeah. And there's the doorways right here. So they, he's just kind of out of sight, maybe. Oh. <laughs> that's just a, well, yeah, it's a I, typical Outlander. Classic Skyring NPC. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, Kreslock, your turn. It's kind of, it's kind of far. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How about so you see can I climb down here? You can, yeah. It's forty feet down to and the bottom. You see this is here I have shadow, right? Can I try to hide in the shadow? Yeah, it's not exposed, so um okay. it would be against I'm their passive try perception. Try to climb down athletic. Yeah. That passes. You're able to get down to the bottom. Okay. So, how much movement I still have left? That was 40 feet to the bottom. So, you had to dash to get that. But it's difficult terrain, right. though, right? So, it would be... You have how much? 30? 30. So, dash is 60. Oh. 
Do I got 20 left? You have, no? You have, no, you have 10 feet <laughs> left to get to the bottom. Oh, so shit. I haven't even got to the bottom. Okay, so I hand, on, hand here. Right? No, it's 40 feet right. down. It requires double movement. Right, so I stay at the wall. Yeah. I just hand at the wall. That's my okay. knee. That's so then it goes to Kamaji. Um, I guess I'll try to hit number five as well. <coughs> Just a flat roll, so 11. That misses. All right. I will use my bonus action to hide again. Okay. They do not see it or notice it. It goes to Mitra. She's going to try and finish this. Just within range. It's dope. I could have moved too, I guess. She kills him. Nice. Then they got to roll again. They still don't see it. Wow, they're rolling terrible. Okay, so funny. She's going to move up a little bit. She's going to go 25 feet here and hide behind this wall. And actually, she doesn't really need to. They probably can't see her here. So she'll go another five feet. Then it goes to Rig. All right, I guess we're going to just keep going. Uh, we'll target number nine with this advantage. No, it's probably going to miss. 17 to hit. Okay, seventeen. Wait, nine? Isn't he inside a wall? Can you shoot him? Uh, he actually number nine. Yeah, you can't see. Well, okay, then I guess you. Let's yeah. see. Hold on, wait a second. He has uh three quarters cover, so that's twenty. So that one does miss. Right. He's now aware that you're shooting at him, though. So this will be the end of surprise. It happens sometime. But not me, right? I'm still hiding. Yeah, just the surprise round. You guys will get to go once, and now combat will start. Hmm. So, Gruzlock is next. So, 20 feet. Uh, I gotta climb down. So, I, do I still need to Roll as laddie. Uh, yeah, you will, because you're still climbing. All right. That's ah. uh, just enough, and you're able to get down to the bottom. I right, still move. Yeah, you traveled. I think it was ten feet. So you still got ten feet. Is not. You have 10 feet left, I think, because you had to do double movement. Yeah. Oh. So it's 20 feet. Yep. You have 10, you you have have 10, 10 feet left. left. Okay. Come here. Okay. And still hiding. Roll stealth, though. Wait. You know what? Wait, can I dash? You could dash. If I dash, can I still hiding? No. Uh, no. I ain't gonna... You know what? Screw the stealth. I ain't gonna just charge. Ah! Okay. Well, you were stealthed already, so what I'll do here is I will re-roll this to see. But you don't get a chance to re-roll it. Alright, you're still stealth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These guys suck at pursuing oh, things. Sneaky barbarian. Alright. It it goes to Kamaji. All right. Um, not really sure. I'll try to get down. See what that gets me. Okay. Athletics. Uh, it's forty feet to the bottom. I'm gonna try and go to the 
over here. Okay. Athletics check. 18. That passes. You make it. You go down 20 feet. Okay. Uh, so I guess I would have had to dash to get here. Yeah. So that means I can dash as a bonus action. That gives me 60 total. I used 40 of them. So I have 20 left. Go here. All right, I have full cover there behind the wall. Unless you poke out to shoot. Can I see this guy through the doorway now? Uh, once you get around that wall and up the stairs, yes. Okay. What about this guy? Can I see him from my angle? No, because there's this wall right here in front of you. Okay. Goes to... Are you done? Then, oh. I guess. Uh, I'll just use my action to take another dash. Okay, cool. And I'll go... Here. Alright, so Mitra's turn... <clears throat> All right, she can take a shot now at number nine. Let's see, there we go. Oof, that misses. And then she is going to, that's all she can do. Now it's going to be round one rig. All right, I think I probably should start climbing down this way. So athletics? Yep, 40 feet to the bottom. That passes, just barely. All right, so it takes me most of my movement dashing to get down. Uh, I'm following um, Maji, but then I only have like 10 movement once I'm down on this side. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry, you're going the other way. So that fails. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. You're gonna so take... I fall? Yep. 11 damage. Why? That weighs harder. Uh, there's a gap that you got to jump over. Oh. Oof. All right. 11 bludgeoning damage from the fall. And then it goes. Anything else that you want to do? That was so painful. <laughs> Gruzlock. Okay. Gonna come here. So if I come here. So you say you say here is the door, right? Yep. On this. So is this door is like a closed door or just a No, empty... it's like a it's an open arch. Okay. So I come here and they can see me, right? Yep. And I can see them. Correct. I'm gonna come here. Hold out my javelin. Shoot the number three. You see this guy here, East? Yeah. This guy is standing there with um, dual-wielding yo-yos. <laughs> oh, and wow. then there is this guy here, and he is holding an Iku bow. Oh. A little blurry, but... Okay. You know what? Shoot the number three. Number three. No, I the one with the bow. Shoot number oh, nine. Bow. Shoot the yo-yo guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, yo yo. Wait. You know what? Oh wait. No. He just he turns throw. sideways, and the javelin just goes right by him. He looks over at you and smiles. Nice try, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Hang his gonna... ears. <laughs> <laughs> I got to rage. Ah, stop dodging. Okay. And uh and uh hold all my wood cutting axe and that's my turn. Okay. The captain, that's number 3. He's going to move 25 feet. 
20 and he's gonna go here he's gonna attack you with the bow that he has this is uh like one of the oars that you use in a for a boat 23 to hit does seven bludgeoning damage to you he then takes his second attack i need to see your roll <sighs> Thank you for letting me know. I would have just kept rolling him. There you go. It's 23 to hit. 7 bludgeoning damage. And then he does a 17 to hit. For uh, okay. 8 bludgeoning damage. But you're raging, so it's not too terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No pain! He comes in with two swings right at your midsection, whacks you pretty hard. He sees how tough you are, though, and he kind of gets not worried, but he's uh, he sees he's got to keep beating you up. It's then going to go to the Outlander over here, number six. He's going to move 25 feet, 30 feet. He's going to shoot his short bow toward Mitra. 22 hits, two piercing damage. Kamaji's turn. Okay. I'm gonna kind of crawl up these steps and go prone. Okay. You have I see three quarters cover there, then. Can I see him still? Number three? You can see number three, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna shoot at him oh there it is um, I'm still, so. nice. uh 25 Hits. cool uh eight piercing damage man these rolls what's going on okay and then i'm going to use my bonus action to hide once again that passes. Cool. That's my turn. Outlander's turn is next. He's going to move to a dash. 60 feet. The next captain's turn. He's going to move here in the doorway. Steps forward. You're no match for my yo-yos, boy. He's going to make... <laughs> He makes. I like this guy. Let's see. Two yo-yo attacks. Is that toy? Um, and then it looks like. Let's see. When he's using the yo-yo to attack, he can use one of two maneuvers each round on a successful hit. So we'll see if he hits you. Seventeen hits. He deals deals four bludgeoning damage. He uses a maneuver called Thread the Needle. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, you still, I still, we still cannot see your roll. Oh my gosh. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, I see. There you go. He uses something called Lasso the Bull. So he flings the yo-yo and it wraps around your neck instead of dealing damage to try and suffocate you. Oh, so I didn't take the damage. You can remove that damage. Okay. Then with the second yo-yo, so actually, just so you know, this is suffocating you. So we're going to go by the suffocation rules in D&D. &D. In order to stop this from happening, the line must be cut or the yo-yo disarmed before attempting to spend an action to unwrap the line. So what am I facing now? I cannot what? breathe. You're going to start to experience suffocation. I got to get those rules up again. So you can hold your breath ease for a number of minutes equal to one plus your con modifier. You should probably be fine. One plus my con modifier. So it's five. Okay, so five so minutes. So five minutes? Yeah, you can hold your breath for five so minutes. So I have 50 turns. Oh. Yeah, this is nothing. Wow, yeah, nothing. 
<laughs> this is the wrong guy <laughs> to use lasso the bull on. He does yeah, have give a, me a smart face. Where <laughs> <laughs> uh, this nonsense toy? Playing with me, little girl. <laughs> he does hit you with the other lasso with the offhand. It deals five bludgeoning damage. Oh shit! All right, two. It then goes to Mitra. She is going to use her. Oh, I've been waiting to to do this. I guess I'm going to just shoot number three. Oh, that misses. I'm going to second wind as a bonus action. I'm going to heal 13 points. Okay, that's helpful. And I'm going to use action surge. And I'm going to use the short bow again. This hits for seven. Hit me? Wait, no. who's shooting? Mitra hit number three. She uh, action surged Ooh. and also used a bonus action to second wind. Outlander's turn. He's going to go 45 feet, 50, and then 10 more. 60. Rig. All right. Um, oh. Actually, I'm within range for number three. I can see him, right? Yeah, you can see him. All right. I have the high ground. That is. Six to hit. Six piercing damage. Very nice. Okay, Grosluck. I'm gonna ignore this nonsense toy. I'm gonna chop the number three. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the same. So I use my two hand to welding the wooden cutting axe and strike with the number three. Oh yeah. That hits, yeah. Nice. Mm. Um, you know what? Ragless attack! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh awesome. there we go. Fourteen slashing. And then, yes, and I stroll my hand axe with my off hand. And striking with my off hand. Okay. And because the Ragless attack. <laughs> All right. 17, that hits. Yep. A slashing. Okay. Captain and Two's turn. That's my turn. He comes in with the Ikubo. Two melee attacks. Both of those are going to miss. I am going to have him move <laughs> to this Harry. position. Harry him. Wait, mm -hmm. are they going to have flank like this? Oh, he's got advantage on the, both of those attacks because of the reckless attack. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Only one hits ah. for five bludgeoning. So two. Thank you. You're not very kind, man. It's nothing. Number six is going to go. He is going to set up for flank. He's going to use his <coughs> great club. 17 hits. Seven more bludgeoning. He got the advantage too. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Forgot to click it. There we go. Oh, Ka it's kind of hurt. Yeah. Kamaji's turn. Okay. Stop I'm going to... Target number three again. Ugh. Damn. Missed. All right, I'm going to hide again. Um... Passes. Cool. That's it. Okay, Outlander goes 60 feet, then it goes to Captain, the other Captain. He's going to move here. 
and he is going to use his yo-yo attacks. He's going to, he sees how tough you are. So he unthreads the needle and he's going to attack twice. He... So five and seven. You can try for crits too, if you want with yeah, the damage. Yeah, you can still have the band IQ. Okay, same. Uh, let's see so... which one's next. Two and three. Oh, I almost dead. Ugh, right. Mitra's gonna drop the short bow and attempt this athletics check. Passes brilliantly. She's gonna get advantage with her club. Nice. Okay. Twenty-two is gonna hit. She's gonna use seven on this guy. Outlander's turn. He's going to move 60 feet to the dash. 30 at this angle and 30 here. Rig. All right. We're going to keep on going with, I think that was number three. Um, the guy who's almost dead. Yep. That 25 hits. to hit. Nice. Six piercing damage. Nice. He's still up, but you got him. Still up? Still up? Okay. You want to move, Rig? Um, yeah, I'll probably start moving closer. Gruzlock. All right. All right. Hmm. I'm going to chop him. Do okay. Let's see it. Hi. Advantage. Right there. Wait, you know what? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Decider advantage. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you're dead. You're fucking dead. Incredible. Gosh, so many dead, at once. Man. That's enough, though. And you kill him. Yeah, he split his hat off. Okay. And hold out my hand axe. Strike to the number six. Okay. And I it's... don't use Ragley's attack. Okay, got it. So that advantage so... is gone. Yeah. Nine, he's still up, but man, is he wounded. He's bleeding and... out. I want to move to here. I cannot move to here, right? Because he blocked me. I gotta move to here. Yeah. I move to here. Okay. It's the Outlander's turn. He's gonna hit you with his great club. 14 is gonna I miss. Kamaji. <laughs> um... Let's see. Oh, where is this guy? Uh, I think I can make a bigger impact. I'll, I'll just crawl forward slightly, and then I'll be within 80 feet of number 12. Okay. I'm going to shoot him with my short bow. Ugh. Misses. Yeah. Damn. Those early dice rolls are pretty rough. Crawling back into my little spot and hiding. I'm Ooh. hidden. Very You're nice. invisible now. <laughs> I'm going to give you inspiration. Oh, cool. Outlander number eight is going to go next. When he gets here, 30 feet. Uh, number nine tells him to grab the sunstone to chuck it off the cliff. He goes to the backpack, takes the backpack, and he moves another 20 feet. Chuck it off to the cliff? What a jerk. Captain's turn. He is going to use yo-yos on Mitra. Only one of... 
six, five damage. And that's Mitra's turn. She is going to move forward to here. Confident that she can kill this guy and end the advantage for the flank. She gets it. Seven damage. This guy's dead. Nice. Outlander's turn. He is going to move 35 feet to cover number eight. Rig. Oh, I'm within range, so I am going to shoot at number eight, who is taking the sunstone. Shoot his knee! 25, I'm going to shoot his knee for six. <laughs> I keep getting six. I keep rolling a lot of twos. <laughs> huh. Got it. You hit him. Gruzlock. Charge! Put down the sunstone, stupid ass! Shock him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah. Ragnar's attack! Yeah! You just see him turn, he like puts his hands up over his head. Please no! As the axe comes crashing down, go ahead and roll damage. Yeah! No, to my Oops. You silence his cries with the edge of your blade as he falls completely dead. And then I stab on his body. And pulled out my hand axe. Chop with the number 12. Okay. And still got reckless attack. That hits. That hits. Nice 11 damage. damage. Ooh, you kill him. Wow, One hit. Double kill. How do you kill him? <laughs> I slash so hard, his head flying to the air and spinning. And the blood everywhere. <laughs> Branding the blood. It's all over your face oh. now. You're covered in his blood. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm licking my... I'm licking the blood. That's <laughs> <laughs> rain! <laughs> Kamaji, you poke your head out to see Gruzlock drinking the raining blood. <laughs> <laughs> Is Your it turn. my turn? Your turn. I'll target number nine. He's the only one left. Yep. Cruz <laughs> Lack killed them all. He did. Um, he I'm was gonna... thirsty. Oh, yeah. He hit him. 19 to hit. That hits. Hey, finally. 15 piercing damage. Okay. Awesome. And I will hide. 16. Very nice. Let's see. That is going to pass. All right. Yay. Captain's turn. Hmm. This guy's going to move over here and he's going to use his daggers 1822 why use dagger what happened with his yo-yo uh, he's engaged so he's dropped his yo-yos he does 10 total damage he, to Mitra he stop playing he stabs her in the shoulders and then it goes to Mitra. She's going to use her club. She hits him over the head for seven damage. Nice bunk. Rig. Oh, Ooh, and that 20. Oh, nice. No twos, no twos. <laughs> Shoot him <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't get any twos. Uh, that's one progress is incremental right just one <laughs> one at a time it would have been funnier <laughs> if it was two ones yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, Grezak so is the soundstone inside a backpack yep I gonna put it on my back okay 
It'll travel with you. Did that take an action? It's part of your movement. Okay, I I take it and I charge back to here. Okay. And now I see. Uh, drop your yo-yo, huh? Stop playing. Face your death. Yeah. Advantage. Yeah. What the fuck. That miss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, my hand axe. Chop mm. it. Oh, you lucky bastard. You can't kill Stop. me. Hey, are you sure about that? Shit. Stop. I'm not sure about that anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure about anything anymore. Okay. Slashing. He's hurt. Kamaji. <laughs> All right. I'm going to shoot him again. 16. That hits. Oh, I didn't drop an arrow last time he did. 12 piercing damage. Okay. And... I'm hit. That hits. Oh, it's just hiding. Oh, Stealthy. sorry. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay. No, it definitely passes. All right, his his turn now, and he's gonna do two daggers, both on Mitra. Twelve. Ooh, that drops pretty low. He is. Mitra's turn. She's going to turn around with the club. 22 to hit. I'm going to finish in. Eight Bunk. damage. She kills him. Wait, you kill me? Oh, what sorry. Sorry, sorry. I clicked the wrong character. What are you doing, Mitra? She doesn't kill him. <laughs> Not me. Oops, my bad. I clicked the wrong token on accident. <laughs> Almost dead. It's so close. Rig's turn. Oh, so he's not dead yet? Wow. Not dead. Very close. All right. 22 to hit. That hits. Let's see if I get a two. Oh, Finish I got a four. Him. Eight. Eight kills him. Nice. <laughs> Everything falls quiet. Finally, you have accomplished your mission. You've gone through... Awesome. Or you've walked a long ways. You know, you've walked uh, for at least whole day at this point uh, i'm so hungry <clears throat> now we can go back have our <clears throat> barbecue party yeah you do have some treasure here so i'm just gonna go and finish this and hand this out to you here's a spear here What's this there spear? is a spear uh let's see Okay, you should have gotten it all. The treasure, let's see, pick treasure. Ooh. Oops, I don't know, it shouldn't be a longbow. I don't know why that's in there, sorry. Longbow? Yeah, that's wrong. Is this, wait, is this the gold and silver from the last thing? Yeah. Just delete okay, it if you already see. used it. I'm gonna add oh, one more thing though to your treasure. It should have been a spear. There's nothing in there currently. Okay. Should be there now. Oh, there it is. There it is. Spear. I see it. Google, I can throw you. Spears, I uh, believe that one has reach. Nope. Nope. Thrown and versatile. Oops. Anyone want this? I can throw it. I can use this. Oh, no, it does have reach. When it's in two hands, it says counterbalance. When held in two hands, this preparant has the reach property. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And also, when you successfully shove, shove another creature, you can choose to inflict piercing damage equal to your strength modifier. Cool. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for you. Nice. I can take it. Cool. Yeah, take it. <clears throat> okay. Got the spear. Whoa. You guys did it. You got, I think you're pretty 
close now. Let me see. Creatures, you're 100 oh. XP away from level three, which will be great. That'll be it. So that's a comfortable hold, level. I can hold a spear and an axe. Yes. Ooh. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have you, um, you can take a long rest in this camp, but you're going to have to roll a survival check as a group. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to take a little nap. Okay, that passes. You guys are able to hear it. keep quiet. You keep the flames and the smoke to a minimum. Nobody notices you. Nothing notices you. And um, you wake up the next morning feeling refreshed. You can take a long rest. You have the sunstone secure. Oh. Uh, your mission is accomplished. Awesome. And we got a griffin egg. Yes. And we can go back and uh, claim the rest of our kills. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. All the, all the meat we left behind. Yeah. yeah. We got two giant bird. We're going to be heading back to camp with not only the sunstone and saving the day, but the fixings of a feast. Yes. And we can have a week barbecue party. <laughs> You guys can roll investigation on the ruins if you'd like. Room? I'll just kind of do some wrap-up rules here before we end. Investigation. These are dwarven <laughs> ruins. Rig, you feel... Um, wait, wait. Oh. Are these, like... St is this stonework? Yes. I technically have advantage on... Ooh, yeah. Well, no, that's, for that's only for history checks, I think, but... Um, you can roll a history check, then, with advantage, if you'd like. You know that your people have you had built these structures along what is now known as the Blood Cliffs a long time ago. These ones are probably a thousand years old. Mm. These remind me of the things my pappy told me about. I believe a thousand years ago, dwarves like me built these uh, very, very ruins. You would, they would come out here, and um, these structures were open. These open stone mollusks, and they would worship the stars. Um, later on, your people went further into the ground to mine minerals and other kinds of precious gemstones, you know, like dwarves do. Um, and if you go even further back in history, uh, about 2,000 to 5,000 years, your people originally came from what we call the Under-Earth. So in order, they were, yeah, they were like mole people, essentially. So the dwarves, about five, ten, five thousand years ago, were in the Underearth. Then they came out, they became obsessed with the night sky and built lots of structures on the cliff sides to worship the stars. And then they returned back to the underground. But now they're kind of in both, both places. Uh, you also are aware, give me one second here. Um, you worship a couple different gods. One of them is is Bastion. He's a mechanical being. The other is Myrna, which is a drow. And those are the two that you worship. Uh, additionally, you know that in past the Underearth is something called the Halls of Dug Hollow. And it is a an abandoned network of tunnels and buildings that are even further below the under earth that your people have built. But no one has really gone down there besides the occasional adventurer or something. Most people don't return because it's a very dangerous place. So these are all the kinds of the things that you're thinking about, the long history of your people that you're already aware of. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna Why go. Ahead. He trust Dow is he still low? He's still red. Oh, I just hadn't done the the long rest for her yet, but I'll do it now. So don't forget. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna switch over to one more thing to show you. Alright, here's our world map. Still foggy. Still foggy. You guys made it to the Blood Cliffs. You're going to now be returning to, well, 
first one stop to grab the bird, but then you'll be returning to the fin. What uh, about the griffin? We haven't took much. You want to take the griffin as well? I'm not sure you could carry that. We carved it up for monster, up for monster parts, didn't we? You did, yeah. You could. I will give you. What I'll do is I'll give you guys each um, plus five rations from the griffin. And then I'll take you back here. You guys return into the Blood Cliffs Cave, <clears throat> which is here. Okay. And Maybe. there's your terror bird kill. Um, carry it. And I think this is where we'll end for our session today. And then uh, we'll pick it up here next time when you get back to the village. Sounds good. Nice. All nice. right. GG. GG's, everyone. Feast time. Strange land.